I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life with meaning I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating I'm feeding this demon Got a taste, can't erase bitterness in my face Work a job every day till your dreams fade away Like a card, never change, play the game now we say Afternoon everyone, I'm glad you're here Thank you very much for joining me Yesterday, off the shore of Japan near Fukushima, there was a magnitude 6.0 earthquake. It sent tremors across one of the world's most seismically active regions, striking at 1521 Universal Time on October 4th, and that would be 1221 AM local time. It was about, oh, 34 miles, 56 kilometers, um, east of Tomokyo, Fukushima. That area was heavily damaged uh, from the 2011 earthquake and subsequent, yeah, disaster, the explosion there at the nuclear power plant. This area, interestingly, was designated as difficult to live in until about 2023 when people were allowed to repopulate the area. Yeah, it has a real small population, mostly workers and officials are probably working at the Fukushima nuclear power plant. And evidently the beach is open. <laughs> oh yeah, just what you want to do. Go into radiated waters from them. Yeah, flushing out. Um, yeah, the waste from them still trying to cool down. Uh, the nuclear power plants that, yeah, blew up. I'm sorry, but, um, yeah, uh, stupidity should hurt. And I don't care what they paid me. Um, I wouldn't live there or work there. Hopefully no one drugged their families uh, to live there with them as they work there in uh, this city. Yeah, what would the life expectancy be for Tomioka. I might have pronounced it wrong. The earthquake had a depth of 47 kilometers or about oh, 29 miles, so it wasn't that shallow, but its inland reach was undeniable. No tsunami alerts, no immediate uh, reports of any casualties, but it is a stark reminder of Japan's unbreakable dance with the earth. Details and felt report. Uh, there was 53 people that sent in reports to USGS Did You Feel It website. And they gave it an intensity level of 5. Yeah, I wonder how many nerves it rattled. There's the center for the earthquake. And yeah, it was felt over a really large area. Let's see, one report from there. Kazanuma, intensity level 3. And as far south as Zama, intensity level 3, that was 297 kilometers south. So that would be more than 180 miles. I don't know why it's lit up like that. That That's intense. Yeah. Um, Narashino, which was uh, 244 kilometers 151 miles. Yeah, four people said they felt it there. Go closer to the epicenter. Uh, this one was intensity level 5. Fukushima. Yeah, 118 kilometers it says here. So that would be about, oh, 73 miles. I'll go a little bit closer here. Intensity looks like a lot of the reports are... Well, this one's 4. Shirakawa. Um, 142 kilometers, so that would be about 88 miles. It's amazing how many people felt this earthquake. That's on USGS Did You Feel It website. Now that earthquake was a 9.1. It was a super sheer earthquake, meaning it traveled faster than the speed of sound, faster than the actual earthquake. Yeah, 9.1. And for some reason, USGS classified this as an intra-plate event, maybe because it was deep in the bending Pacific plate as it dives under um, Hanashu Island. 
Now this is the same volatile subduction zone for the uh, 2011 earthquake. Shake reports were um, from rattling windows and swaying lamps in places like Iwaki and uh, Nami. And over 500,000 people probably felt that punch inland in Fukushima City. Um, yeah, other areas that dropped to light, maybe like a truck rumbling by. And then there was probably about 4.4 million people that said that, yeah, it just felt like a light vibration, just like a truck going by. But get this, even in Tokyo, 200 kilometers away, uh, people said that they felt it too. People living in high rises in Yokomama and Kyoto included uh, said that they felt it. There was one report that came from Tokyo that said that they felt the sway at midnight. All good here from Tokyo. There was no reports of damage, but authorities were checking for cracks in older structures, and travel was reportedly being smooth. Though there was uh, the bullet train, it pa paused uh, briefly, and there was no flights grounded. As you know, Japan is on the Pacific Ring of Fire, where four plates collide like tectonic titans. Uh, we got the Pacific Plate, which is off over here, and that moves westward about four centimeters a year, building pressure along the Japan Trench. Uh, this likely was a reverse slip in the slab's uh, mid later layer, excuse me, echoing stress from the 2011 uh, 9.0 or 9.1 that reshaped the coast. Experts say that there is a chance of a magnitude 5.0 or larger within the next 72 hours. According to TEPCO, the Daiichi uh, power plant, which is still closed down, there was no abnormalities uh, reported there. This earthquake was just a reminder that people need to be prepared. They need to be on alert. People need to stock, stock up on water. Make sure you have plenty of that. And food, secure furniture, and uh, yeah, have a, a plan. So just out of curiosity, I was wondering if Google Earth would take me to that power plant. I don't see it listed here. I got quite a few that light up. Oh, right there. Okay. Right there. Well, they got three of them with the same same name of Daiichi. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Always be prepared for a disaster. Please like. Please subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.